Hello and welcome to another War Game Red Dragon video. This is going over the Red 4 units. This is an updated video of a previous video I did about two weeks ago and you may have been linked from that video to this one. This video contains all of the updated statistics for the open beta. The main things they've changed are the armor on the ships. They've now got four front armor, two side armor, four back armor and two top armor whereas it used to be two 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 that makes sense because I suppose if you're shooting at a ship from the front is a smaller target as well and the side is a much larger target and from the top you can get aircraft and artillery firing at it so it seems to make sense so they've buffed the armor a little bit also they've really massively increased the price of the ships especially the larger ships the cruisers and the destroyers and I think they've done that to stop people spamming in lots of heavy ships at the start of the game you seriously you cannot do that anymore they've also altered the ranges of some of the weapons although all the weapons are the same they've just altered a couple of the ranges but I wanted my video to be nice and up to date so here we go this is the first ship the of the red fort the Najin um, the main weapon, I, I guess, is, well, it's a sort of all-rounder ship, I guess you'd say. It's got two ship-to-ship -ship missiles with an average sort of range of 5,250 metres and an average sort of accuracy for ship-to-ship -ship missiles of 50% and a 50% stabiliser. It's got these dual-type um, 66 guns on the midship there and also on the rear of the ship there for shooting down aircraft, helicopters, and shooting at ground units as well and it's got this 100 gun and it's actually got one on the front and one on the back with 80 100 millimeter rounds which can shoot at ground targets at a range of 4375 and can also shoot at helicopters and to some degree at airplanes as well it's also got a medium close-in weapon system the better the close-in weapon system the higher the chance to destroy enemy missiles aimed at the ships in question so an interesting stat to have a look at when you're thinking about bringing in the ships. There's also ECM in ships, but this ship doesn't have any ECM. So that's the Najin, 125 to bring in, you get three of them. And it's got 180 strength, so it takes a little bit of punishment before it's going to go down. Next we've got this massive, I would say attack ship, huge thing, really sort of imposing on the battlefield the sovereign many look at the cost 500 points so it's going to cost you half of your points to bring this guy in at the start of a game which limits what else you can do that's got to be a good thing and encourages team play as well i think so this has got eight musket ship to ship missiles with a massive range the longest in the game of 9450 it's awesomely powerful with an accuracy of 70 percent and a stabilizer of 70 percent as well huge missile eight of them massive range it can also defend itself against helicopters and airplanes with these still one missiles so helicopters at 3,500 metres and airplanes at 4,550 metres and good accuracy as well. It's got 48 of those missiles. Pretty good. And it's also got these dual AK-130 MR guns, one on the bow there and one there on the stern. And I'm assuming they will both fire if they're both within range. And the range for ground units on them is 4,900 metres and they can also shoot down helicopters and airplanes if they come close enough as well. And you can also shoot other ships with these bow, bow guns as well, of course. OK accuracy in so far as bow guns are concerned and a nice fire rate of 66 rounds per minute as well. The CIWS is very good on this ship and it's got an ECM of 20. So this is a nice... It's a, it, well, it's a CV ship. It can be used for defence, but this is a really nice attack ship as well to put on the front in the front of your fleet somewhere. Next, we've got the Type 050 Luda. Six ship-to-ship -ship missiles with just a range of just 6,125 metres this time. And uh, decent accuracy, though, and decent stabiliser on those rockets. 
it's got this dual type 76 f uh, gun for shooting down helicopters and airplanes and it's also got a dual type 76 130 also for shooting down on the, on the front of the ship here and also on the rear of the ship here for shooting at ground targets and also can take down helicopters and airplanes if they get close enough as we've already seen in the last couple of ships ago. And this is one of the older types of ships, 1976. Although it does have medium close-in weapon system, it doesn't have any ECM, which only the more modern ships have. So pretty good sort of all-rounder kind of ship. 145 to bring in, strength of 150, and you can get three of these guys. Next, we've got the another... Which one was that? Hold on, let's get this right. So next we've got the, oh yeah, the Type 053HT. Another nice sort of ship-to-ship -ship missile, uh, attack ship, I suppose. Ship-to-ship -ship missiles, 8, 8,570. The Yingi 82 missile with a good accuracy again. Um, it's okay anti-air. It's got these fire really fast if the helicopters or airplanes are in range. It fires really fast um, at 12 per second. It's got 32 of these HQ-7 radar missiles. It's also got the uh, dual PJ-33A. Not the best gun in the world. It's only got one of them on the bow by the looks of it. Um... Yeah, range 4,375, but only an accuracy of only 10, and it doesn't fire that rapidly either. But it can shoot down helicopters and airplanes as well if they come close enough. It's got a very good close-in weapon system, though, uh, so it might be good as part of a fleet, and a good strength of 180. So a pretty nice little ship there. Next, we've got the other massive ship. I mean, I think the uh, Red 4 Navy have got the two best ships in the Udaloid 2. Uh, or the Sovereign Many, although you might think different, let me know if you do. Um, with the Congo of the Blue 4 Navy being probably the third best ship in the game. Now this one again, massive, 500 points to bring this guy in. You're going to get one of them, bring it in, look after it. This is the more defensive, I would say, ship out of the Udaloy and the Sovereign Many. Although, of course, it is massive, it's got huge firepower and can take on any other ship in the game. It's got the Moskits again, eight of them massive range huge accuracy it's also got nice anti-air capability 3150 against airplanes 2450 against choppers it's also got this dual ak 130 mrs bow gun and has it got a stern gun doesn't look like it's got a stern gun just the bow gun on this one yeah with a nice range of 4,900 against ground targets and other ships, and can shoot down choppers and airplanes as well. That fires fairly rapidly at 66 and has got an OK actually of 20%. This one has got exceptional close in weapon system, so you're going to have to fire an awful lot of missiles at this ship to take it down, especially when you look at the strength of the ship, which is 300 as well. So that's going to stay afloat. You're going to have to have some serious firepower to take this guy down, especially if it's protected by other ships as well with good anti-air capabilities. It's got an ECM of 40% as well, so that, that's looking pretty damn awesome as well, along with a sovereign many. Although they do cost a lot to bring in. So that's the command ships of the Red 4 Navy. <coughs> Excuse me. Next we have this, the other boat ships, coastal ships now, and riverine ships. This is the Comor. This is a riverine, so it can go up and down rivers. It's got these two ship-to-ship -ship missiles with a um, range of 5,250. Um, and it's got this little dual-type 7M, 3M bow gun here to protect itself against helicopters and airplanes. And against ground units as well, I suppose it is. It is, after all, it can be used for. I suppose you could use it, use its missile pods, and then you could take it up the river to support your ground units. Otherwise, you're just going to have to keep re refueling it up with missiles every five minutes. It only costs forty, and you can get eight of them. And uh, it's got a strength of forty, so it should be all right up the rivers. Hopefully, as long as it's pretty well protected by your other units. Then we've got the, what's next, the Mosquit. 
this is almost this is like the previous ship except it's got double the firepower in terms of ship to ship missiles it's got four of the same missiles as p15 termits um but it hasn't got any other armaments so it's pretty weak at defending itself it's a pure ship to ship it is coastal but it's pure ship to ship we don't want to be sticking this up rivers really unless you're transferring them from one sea part of the sea to another along a river perhaps there are those maps on the uh, in the game when they bring out the naval warfare please bring it out very soon um but yeah that's this it costs 60 as opposed to 40 for the previous one but it hasn't got the extra armaments but it has got four ship to ship missiles this time and you can get six of these it's got 50 strength no ciws next we've got the moon now now this is your um logistics supply ship um with a massive payload of 15,000 litres of fuel, the logistics and supply for your ships. And of course, if you want to, it is riverine, if you want to float it up the river to supply your ground units as well. So very useful, you get three of them, that's a lot of supply, definitely needed if you think you're going to be in an extendedly long, extended or long game. Then we've got the Nanuchka 3. This is a nice sort of anti-air ship. Well, no, actually, it's a good all-round ship, actually, looking at it. It's got these six ship-to-ship -ship missiles with uh, Malachit, Malachit, Malachit missiles, 6,125 metres, OK accuracy. Uh, it's got this, these uh, OSA-M missiles with a decent range against airplanes of 3,500 metres and a good range against choppers of 2,800 metres as well. And it's also got this little gun. Is it on the back? Yeah, on the back there, back of the ship there, on the stern. It's actually poking into the ship, is it? That bow gun? Yeah, uh, stern gun rather. So that's the AK-176, uh, which can shoot at choppers and helicopters and ground units as well. So costs 120, strength 70 medium ciws i might do as a sort of supporting ship against airplanes with a fleet perhaps and it's also got these ship, ship missiles which it can use as well next we've got the pc chong yu this is um rocket artillery floating rocket artillery which speaks for itself long range it's actually got quite a decent dispersion for quite a tight dispersion for rocket artillery whether it needs a lot of reloading i'm assuming it will do um, so you need a supply ship to go along with this guy. It's got some armaments to defend itself. It's got this uh, what looks like a tank turret stuck on top of a um, rotating platform there with a range of 2,800 meters, so a nice range and an HE power of four. So ground support there um, if, if required, perhaps once it's used all its ammo up, unless you want to keep resupplying it with ammo. And it's got an auto cannon as well for a bit of ground support. Costs 80, quite a lot, not too cheap, but it is an artillery piece and a strength of 40. You get three of them. Next, we've got the Shantou. This craft here. Um, is this going to be useful? I'm not so sure. It's got an auto cannon. Let, let, let's do the good points first. It's got an auto cannon. That's it, really. That's the good point. With a good, decent-ish range, can shoot at helicopters and airplanes, could be used to support ground units. You do get a lot of them, 12. They do only cost 30, strength of 40. And it's got this recallless gun, which looks absolutely useless. 1,000 meter range, AP power of 6. Uh, it's got an HP power of 3, which could be useful, I suppose. But yeah, that's it. A recallless gun on the ship, lashed to the deck. I'm not sure that's going to be too useful in this game. Then we've got the Schmel. This is another uh, rocket artillery. Again, quite a tight dispersion for rocket artillery. Good range. Um, how does it compare to the other one? Let's have a quick look, shall we? Is it, was it the Chong Yu? Yeah, I think it was. So yeah, slightly longer range. Same sort of dispersion. It's uh, got an auto cannon as well, which is slightly better than the one on the Chong Yu. And it's got defences against helicopters and airplanes with this dual type 2M as well. But it only costs 50. And um, well, we don't want the Chong Yu, we want the Schmeller. It only costs 50, and it's got a strength of 50. 
and that's about it that's what i've got to say apart from look at it is that meant to be camouflage are you kidding me camouflage looks like something what's meant to be in some sort of an exhibition or something to stand out from the crowd rather than blend in but hey what do i know next we've got the tarantula 3 which i'm going to call the tarantula because i like the name i'm going to get these in just so that i can call in my tarantulas it's got four of these really powerful musket missiles which we've spoken about before fantastic missiles they look awesome it's also got some strellers for shooting at aircraft and helicopters and it's got an ak-176 bow gun as well for shooting at ground units and other ships and helicopters and airplanes it's also got a good ciws and an okay sort of strength at 90 it's coastal it can't go up the rivers unfortunately so it's more of a support vessel for other ships um but it looks like a good support vessel it does cost 145 though and it's got a strength of 90 so pretty pretty decent boat there pretty decent coastal craft there then we've got the type 0732 frigate frigate i guess it's a frigate isn't it um <coughs> it's got some uh anti-ship missiles the this time it's the yingi 82 as they're called six of them good range 8750 as long as as far as any nato uh, uh, blue four missiles decent accuracy as well and it's also got some defenses against helicopters and airplanes with its bow gun which has one of yes one bow gun and can shoot at ground units at 2625 meters as well um 95 to bring in 100 strength not too bad um so i suppose it's mainly an anti-ship weapon a bit of ground support afterwards perhaps um yeah not too not too shabby ciws good yeah we've got an ecms 30 as well we've got the type 62 shanghai this little fella here got a couple of auto cannons um that's all you can say about this really it's got a couple of auto cannons so ground support it's riverine so got rivers and support your infantry or your tanks or whatever you want to support uh <coughs> ground unit wise excuse me um 30 to bring in you can get a lot of them 12 and the strength is 50. so that's pretty much it for the ships and we'll have a look now at the aircraft air defense aircraft anti-ship here we are now the red four haven't got as many as much of a choice of aircraft as the blue four they've got one two three four five five so first of all we've got the a5 nanchang it's got two air to ship missiles with an okay range of 4900 and a good accuracy of 60 percent um it's got two pl7 anti-air missiles as well so it's sort of dual role aircraft and a cannon as well for shooting down airplanes helicopters and if you want to you can expose it to trying to attack some infantry it's a medium sort of aircraft i suppose 100 points to bring in not too fast 750ks but not too not too shabby either then we've got the twi the mig 29k this is this is probably one of the better anti-ship aircraft that red four have got although you pay the price for it at 175 to bring in 4kh 31a ship ship missiles range not massive uh 4375 but good accuracy four of them so not too bad four vimpel missiles as well um with a good with well i'll say a, a medium range missile can also shoot at helicopters and it's got this gan cannon as well which can shoot at ground units helicopters and airplanes it's got uh, a good speed at 900 very good turning radius actually 9250 so it might be good in sort of dog fights um time over target i haven't really said much about that they're all quite similar the time over targets it's just uh, when you press the evac button that's how long it takes to come and get out then we've got the q 5b two airship missiles 4550 meters okay actually again and a cannon um nothing too impressive an okay-ish cheapish sort of aircraft you get three of them at hardened it's not too fast and yeah that's all i've got to say about that one really it's not brilliant then you've got the jh7 febile see a lot of these febios out in uh red open red dragon acting as air support at the moment i use them as well they're pretty decent 
Um, but this one's been converted to carry these two big anti-ship missiles on uh, slung under its wings. Massive, really long range, 5,600 meters. So that's pretty decent and a very, very good accuracy, 80%. Fast, 900, good ECM. This looks like a nice aircraft. It's not quite as good as like the Tornadoes and the Hornets of the Blue 4 um, anti-ship. Ship, ship aircraft but it's probably what the best one you're going to get for red 4 i would think um downside it's only got two missiles but it can also dual roll as a fighter as well with these other missiles and guns then last but not least we've got the su-27k this is decent as well because it's got this massive musket missile again and I can't see it on this model actually I can't see a picture of it on this model maybe they haven't actually modeled the musket missile yet i don't know um yeah massive range 6300 huge accuracy 85 percent but it's only got one missile so and you can only get two of them in um, although yep you can only get one pack as well so again limited numbers but very effective if used correctly i guess got a couple of Vimpai missiles which have got a very long range as well so good for patrolling the air air airwaves airwaves the air air I'll just say the air the air and uh, a cannon at the front as well so pretty nice so last but not least let's have a look at the choppers uh, helicopters helicopters where are you helicopters and your ship there we are just three of these. There was four for blue fours. Just three of these for red four. The first of these is the KA-27 PLP. Range 4,550. Two air-to-ship missiles. OK, accuracy 70 to bring in. Strength of 10. Speed not too shabby. Missiles look quite decent though. Green with a white tip. It's funny how the, uh, the, the choppers and everything are always camouflaged and then the missiles always seem to be really bright colours and stand out against the uh, choppers. But hey, again, what do I know? Again, yeah, OK. So Super Puma plan, two Exocet anti-ship missiles, the range of 4,900, but very, very good accuracy at 70% um, and fast as well. Cost 60 to bring in and you can get six of them. And last but not least, the Z9C. Again, these two sort of multicolored rockets on the sides there. Cost 50 to bring in. Two air to ship missiles, 4,200 range, very good accuracy. So, and very fast, 305Ks per hour. So, they're the choppers. So, overall, packed, very, very strong in Navy. Okay in aircraft, not fantastic in choppers. Uh, red 4. Blue 4. OK in Navy, very good in aircraft and good in choppers as well. So there's where the balance is and that's how you've got to sort of sort your decks out depending on how you want to play the game, the maps you're going to play on and stuff like that. It's going to be really, really interesting to, say, to see how it all works out um, when there's lots of people playing the game. I'm sure there'll be huge numbers of moans and groans and OPs and whatever on the forums. But um, let's get these ships um, loaded into Steam so that we can test them out for you guys before the main game comes out, please. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll be making a few more Red Dragon videos. I'm quite enjoying it. So thanks for watching. Please do comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.